What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be just giving out giving out some free free little tips about Twitch. So Twitch was requested by 321. You already know it. Oh, there you go, there's your comment. And the person that is going to be next is 321. So there's your comment. I hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video. If you'd like to be like them, please feel free to comment down below who you'd like to see next. And I will try to get round to every single one of you but just before this video starts i'd like to give a big thank you to steam support and you might not understand why i'm saying this but i'm going to give a little bit of a conversation a little bit of a little bit of story time so recently i uh somehow my power my pc cut out and i tried to, i rebooted it and i was not logged into steam anymore and problem being is i had an authenticator on my account which i no longer had on my phone, which I've, I've re-enabled my authenticator now and everything's fixed. So do not any of you try to get into my account because it's nothing worth you getting in there for. <laughs> um, and I literally, within a day, I sent about 20 messages back and forth to them and got my account completely recovered, everything reset and all my stuff back within a day. So I just wanna say a big thank you to those guys helping me get back online so quickly and fast. And yeah, just wanna say a big thank you. Let's jump right into the tips. What is Twitch's utility? Well, in Realm 6 Siege, Twitch has access to two unique shock drones with the ability to shoot electric darts. Shock drones replace default drones, and one of them is available during the preparation phase that you automatically spawn in with. Two shock drones, the Twitch's shock drones' main ability is to destroy defenses defenders unique and default gadgets such as cameras as well as nitro placed nitro cells they cannot shoot enemies to them by one health point which has changed from year five uh season one where you used to be able to do 10 so you can actually kill people twitch and realm six each operator is one of the most the one of the most two or the two anti-defender gadget oriented attackers in the game the second is thatcher her drones are one of the best counters um up counters and has a very, are very used in a very unique way and have a very interesting arsenal and things like that. So a single zap can eliminate a defender's utility permanently. However, in some cases, Twitch drones can only temporarily disable devices. So each drone starts with a maximum ammo c count capacity of three darts and it takes 30 seconds to recharge one shot. Prior to year 5, season 3, where drones had 2 seconds cooldown between shots, since Operation Void Edge, cooldown has been reduced to 1 second. Shock drones are quieter than default drones. They are less visible, especially with the Elite Skin drone, which usually blends into surroundings better than the default shock drone skin. The most significant disadvantage of Twitch drone is their lack of ability to jump. Such limitation prevents them from reaching certain gadgets or cameras due to the restrictions of their shock dart range, which is 7.5 meters as well as prevents jumping over deployable shields placed in single doorways so you aren't very uh, mobile and can't really access things on the map so when you're trying to use your twitch drone always keep that one in mind how to use Twitch's utility. So in Realm 6 Siege, defender gadgets have priority tiers for operators who can destroy them. Such a priority list is heavily dictated by the best usage against gadgets that will be more difficult to take care of. Otherwise, those the impact those gadgets have on the outcome of the round also plays a significant role. So if you don't use your gadget in the right way, it can do some impact, but it's not doing the best impact. As currently a number of elect Electric darts is limited, and each usage of darts creates the risk of a defender spotting the drone. I recommend that you consider using a risk and cost before shooting a gadget with a drone. So top tier priority is a mirror window. For Twitch, the main priority for drone is almost always mirror. This is because in Realm 60, Twitch is the only operator who can eject a mirror uh, practically in any situation. Uh, breach denial, so to destroy moose jammers, bandit shock wires, and kites electro claws. And uh, because this can also help with just getting your team in faster. And also, however, when you are, if you are using a drone, cameras can also be a good thing, but they're not as high on the list. So on the low tier priority are Echo Drone, Valk's Black Eye Cams, Jaeger's ADS, and Maestro's Evil Eyes. Otherwise, I recommend just going for any utilities you've seen, but do use drones wisely. To illustrate, your drone for a, for a teammate and spotted your 
drone for a teammate and spotted by a Capcom trap in the door. Instead of using a dart to destroy the utility, reveal this information to your teammate. You can shoot it quickly with a gun rather than wasting your limit limited resources and possibly exposing your drone and getting it destroyed where it could be used for other things. So always think about it when you're doing it. The prep phase. Don't spend the prep phase always in the objective room. This is a recipe for quickly losing your drone, as people will be expecting things to be skying around on the floor. During the pre-action phase of the round, defenders pay significantly more attention to hunting down drones. As the round goes on, people the attention to drones drops. So then you can get your drones onto the objective site. So, so... Basically, there's two things that you need to do. Either use your drone to get intel or help a, a rush attacker or whatever get themselves on to site. That's uh, in the attack phase. In the prep phase, you want to focus on getting info and destroying utility in that tier list. And also, don't try and if your drone gets destroyed, don't just instantly throw in another one afterwards because they'll know that and they'll expect that it's coming and they'll destroy it and you'll just lose another drone, which is not good for you or anyone on your team. Interactions and synergies. So, counters. Uh, things that Twitch can counter are mirrors, black mirrors, breach now, Marshall's evil eyes, echoes, yokai drones, Valkyrie's black eye cameras, Jager's ADS and alibi's prism traps, and obviously pre-placed C4 and bulletproof cameras. And Twitch drones can be destroyed via single bullet, so do be careful by. And she's countered, the main counter to her drones are Kaid, uh, because of Kaid and Bandit Works, so they can bow up and mute signal disruptors. But as her drones cannot jump, Twitch can be countered by deployable shield, which prevent line of sight and can kind of destroy her ability to get a look onto sight. But basically, be smart with your placement of your Twitch drones and don't just throw them willy nilly, and you should be fine. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to check out the channel. We have a place called Rome Six Siege where you can hopefully get the tips that you need for the operators that we have done. And that list is ever increasing every week. So there should be a card somewhere. You can click on it. It should be the little eye and there should be a link to the playlist that you can click on and enjoy. And yeah, thank you guys for the amazing support. The road to one thousand subscribers is going strong if you haven't already joined please feel free to do so uh, if you enjoy the content or want to see some more please do hit that subscribe button i uh, hope you guys have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you all in the next one